in the midst of adversity, the fire of God's glory that enkindled the sons of the Immaculate Heart of Mary shone more brightly, leading them to cross mountains and oceans. The revolution of 1868 expelled them from Spain, from exile in the south of France, Friday, and Tyr, the warmth of their mission spread to unexplored territories. Claret, from his exile in France, wrote to Father Chiffret to encourage him. He explained to him the parable of the wheat. Do not worry, the seed, in spite of the storms, will take deeper roots and grow bigger shoots. And so it was. The congregation, which was hidden with closed doors, experienced the power of the fire of Pentecost, which led it to expand in defiance of limits and boundaries. First, the missionaries crossed the stunning nature of the Pyrenees to found in Babrastro. Then, they sailed across the Mediterranean to Africa, carrying the fire to Algiers. Finally, they crossed the vast Atlantic Ocean to Santiago de Chile, where they began to spread the fire in America, and where a giant emerged, the venerable Mariano Abellana, an example of life and death among the poorest. At every step, they faced challenges, but their apostolic zeal was never extinguished. Guided by the great founding pioneers such as Tiriaco Ramirez, Domingo Sola, Romain Hraver. Despite the suppression of religious orders and the prohibition to found new ones, the missionaries arrived boldly and courageously in Babastro, where they founded the first church dedicated to the heart of Mary. Here, years later, in 1936, 51 missionaries gave their lives for the sake of the faith. As the congregation grew, they faced new challenges in unknown lands, such as in Africa and America. But the fire of audacity never wavered. The joy was enormous when the Church approved its constitutions definitively in 1870. In the midst of the sadness of the exile, the visit of the elderly and early thunder was a balm that strengthened its hope and apostolic ardor. However, this joy was short-lived. After 15 days, he had to leave Prado in hiding for another refuge because his enemies were looking for him in order to capture him. Like a candle burning to the end, Ferret gave up his spirit on the 24th of October, 1870, in the Cistercian Abbey of Fonfrois, France. The fire burning in his heart was not extinguished. The congregation, inspired by his witness of holiness, continued to passionately spread that fire to all corners of the world. With their return to Spain in 1875 and the re-establishment of the communities, the congregation was strengthened. They brought with them the picture of the Heart of Mary, which is today venerated in the General Curia, their inseparable companion in exile. As the foundations multiplied, their number grew, reflecting the intensity of their faith and commitment. 
in 22 years, 24 new communities were founded. With the increase in missionaries, the need for large formation centers arose. The first was Santo Domingo de la Calzada in 1885. The former Franciscan convent became the first great house of formation in Spain. It functioned as the Theologate and seat of the general government from 1886 to 1906. The second was Cervera in 1887. The former university became a novitiate and philosophy house. More than 500 missionaries lived in that gigantic building, distributed in various sections. Places where the missionary fire was spread to the new generations. But with growth came difficult decisions, such as the division into provinces. Two were created. The first, the province of Catalonia, which included Mexico, and whose provincial superior was the first Chilean Claritian, Father Felix Alejandro Cepeda. With 19 houses, its curia was in Alagón. The second, the province of Castile, which included Chile and Brazil, and whose provincial superior was Father Isaac Burgers. With 25 houses, his courier was in Bilbao. Spanish Guinea, now Equatorial Guinea, Rome, Madrid, and the formation centers remained under general jurisdiction. Despite the challenges, the congregation persevered. From the Pyrenees to the Americas to Africa, the fire of the congregation's mission spread, touching lives and transforming communities. Through adversity and triumph, the congregation has kept alive the flame of apostolic ardor, a legacy that continues to expand today.